This video shows how to fix your HP printer when the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper with guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Setup button to open the Setup menu. This button looks like a small wrench. Using the arrow buttons, scroll to Reports. Press OK to enter the Reports menu. Scroll to Printer Status Report and press OK again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will clear any jams from inside the printer and the paper tray. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Slide out the input tray. Remove any loose paper from the input tray. Slide in the input tray. Open the cartridge access door. To do this, locate the two slots on the sides of the printer. Place your fingers into the slots on the right and left sides of the printer, and then lift up to open the door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. Turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Return to the front of the printer. Check the cartridge access area for jammed paper. If possible, grasp any jammed paper with both hands and then gently and evenly pull it toward you to remove it. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. If the carriage isn't already positioned on the right side of the carriage path, move it to that position. Then inspect the left side of the cartridge access area for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Remove any torn pieces of paper you find. Slide the carriage to the left side of the carriage path. Then inspect the right side of the cartridge access area for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Remove any torn pieces of paper you find. Now. Check inside the cleanout door for any jams. Locate the cleanout door handle near the back of the printer. Grasp the handle and pull the cleanout door up and out to remove it from the printer. Check the cleanout area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling gently and evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the paper feed path for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, 
more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the cleanout door. To do this, gently push the door into the cleanout area and push down until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Next, check underneath the printer for jammed paper. Slide out the paper input tray. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer until it rests on its side. If you see any paper underneath the printer, remove it by pulling gently and evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check underneath the printer for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer and return it to its original upright position. Slide in the paper input tray. Open the cartridge access door. Look inside the printer to see if any loose objects have shifted while the printer was on its side. Remove any loose objects you find. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Setup button to open the Setup menu. This button looks like a small wrench. Using the arrow buttons, scroll to Reports. Press OK to enter the Reports menu. Scroll to Printer Status Report and press OK again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, you will fix this problem. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If the carriage moves, wait for it to stop moving. Then, remove the cartridges by pressing inward on the tab on the front of the cartridge to release it. Pull the cartridge towards you to remove it from the slot. Repeat for all cartridges. When handling the cartridge, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink port. Be careful not to touch the contacts or port, because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Now you can reinstall the cartridges. Make sure you install the cartridges in the correct slots. Match the color and symbol on the cartridge to the color and symbol on the carriage. Hold the ink cartridge so that the ink port faces down. Slide the cartridge into its slot and then gently push it forward until it latches into place. Repeat reinstallation for all cartridges. When all the cartridges are installed, close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel 
to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Setup button to open the Setup menu. This button looks like a small wrench. Using the arrow buttons, scroll to Reports. Press OK to enter the Reports menu. Scroll to Printer Status Report and press OK again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then plug the other end of the power cord back into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Setup button to open the Setup menu. This button looks like a small wrench. Using the arrow buttons, Scroll to Reports. Press OK to enter the Reports menu. Scroll to Printer Status Report and press OK again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press the Setup button to open the Setup menu. This button looks like a small wrench. Using the arrow buttons, scroll to Reports. Press OK to enter the Reports menu. Scroll to Printer Status Report and press OK again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.